Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. Back with his good friend, Matt, the Lumberjack. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing really well. I'm surprised that you want to talk about this, but let's do it. Yeah, no, this one is because I get so many people. Yeah. I mean, more than half, actually, more than half the people I talk to think, think or believe that the Fed will pivot this year. And what do I mean by pivot? Many of them will say pause, but if I press them, most of them expect the Fed to cut rates this year. Mm -hmm. which if you listen to our video number three, I firmly believe won't happen. And I suspect rates go higher even than I anticipated Mm -hmm. six months ago, which is not Mm -hmm. a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think it's always important to look at the other side. Mm -hmm. So let's just talk about a few things that we think would happen. So uh, the Federal Reserve just did 75. We all think they're going to do 75 in July. Mm -hmm. You know, what would have to happen to the economy for the Fed to cut rates this year, even if it's the December meeting? Let's talk about the things that would have to just ultimately fall apart. Um, you know, for again, Kathy Woods out talking today that Fed's going to cut and deflation's coming and the world's ending. What do we think has to happen for the Fed to actually cut rates this year? What What are a couple of things? I would recommend Kathy spend more time on her own research that she gives away because <laughs> right now it's worth about what you're paying for it. Um, and I think that um, double probably so double digit unemployment gets it there. Um, but I think that does double unemployment get it there? So going from like three and a half to like seven, maybe, but I don't think we get there. That's the problem is I just don't, I think that there's going to be layoffs. I mean, all of these companies that are doing massive layoffs, they're in two sectors, tech. mortgage lending, b- banking, and tech. Those okay. are the two. Do you hear that in manufacturing? Nope. I, no, Do you hear it yet. in anywhere else? No. And you always, and you're also hearing it from these companies and on the tech side, you and I coming from that world. That's a high churn business, right? Like, well, and it's re- to be very clear, it's non profitable tech, right? IBM's like, like, I'm hiring as much as I can. You know, correct. we're paying, you know, we're replacing people at 10% wage increases and this, that, and the other. So it's really non profitable tech. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's exactly. It's the companies that um, are unicorns. And like, I, like I've been they saying, they were unicorns. <laughs> yeah. Like I've been saying for quite some time, the road this year is going to have a lot of dead unicorns on it. You got it. Um, and so, yeah, I think I think really that's the only thing that would make them pivot because I think that there's um, housing. I, I still believe that housing is going to start to start to roll over this year. I think we're going to give back some of the gains. So you Even so you it, see a negative number sometime this year. Um, I see slowed growth this year. I so, think so that- Case Shiller was just 20.4. I want to get numbers on this because we, we disagree and people love it when we disagree. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it happens. It's okay. Uh, so where do you see it like December? Where, where would you peg Case Shiller? And again, December won't be reported till February. So his data see, is almost the, useless. But Just in being brutally honest with Case Shiller, I don't even pay attention to Case Shiller. Because yeah. it's 20, because it's 20, it's, it's 20 cities that I don't give two rats you know what's about. Okay, so I don't care. So let's so, so, let's, so my so my market, I think okay. so here's a perfect example. Shopping for a house in Vegas, we all know this. Brian Lebo. Awesome. To the stars and me. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so uh I looked at a property in 2019, it was purchased for five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay. It just had a hundred thousand dollar price reduction. I'll probably give that information to Nick. Had it just had a hundred thousand dollar price reduction. From 1.05 million to 950k. Three years, the guy still basically is going to be up 80 percent if he sells. And if he put it in, on his deposit, he's probably up 400 percent. Exactly. So all I'm looking at is what is that? So I think that I think that price decreases continue to happen. I think a lot of places they're still off of wish pricing. I think there's some are markets where it's coming down past wish mm-hmm. pricing and starting to now peg lower than the previous sale. Okay. But so I real value. Real value. I think it's lower than the previous sale, but I don't think we're giving back the, the so we, what we were 16.6. Mm-hmm. I think we end the year lower than 16.6. Okay. You know, but I don't think we end it. Like I, I still think 11, 12. Okay. I think we start to see some, you know, some of that coming back. Yeah. Um, so, so it's, it's the rate of change of 11. Yeah, yeah. So the rate of change. Yeah. I totally agree with that. I, I would actually, I mean, if, again, I would love to see housing over the next five years be frankly, even mm-hmm. I think housing can't keep doing this. It's just, it's, I've been in an environment where markets go up 30% year on year on year and it blows up. That's not okay. Yeah. Fresno was named number 25 in the top 25 yeah. places to invest. 
Yeah. And there show was a time off. when, yeah, show off. Well, dude, 05, 06, uh, we were number one two years in a row. Yeah. That did not end well. We, what number uh, were you in 08? <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were probably in the bottom 10. We went down 75%. I know. It's over nuts. four years. Well, and so that's the thing is like the same thing that we're watching at with Vegas too, right? Yeah. So I'm watching that. I'm, I, I remember what happened back then. Now we don't have all the same loan products, but there's also not nearly as much product. Like it's a little bit different. And now we're finally seeing what Mike's been talking about, what I've been talking about, which is unbelievable pace of inventory ad. Yeah. Yeah. Inventory and, ad, and- days on market, price drops, all these things are leading to a housing crash in transactions. I think five days in a row, Vegas has net added 100, over 100 a day, net added. Yeah. I, I know yeah. over the weekend it was almost 300, which was like six, 7% of their market. Yeah. It's, it's, it's getting, it's getting pretty wonky. So again, I think unemployment could be something I do think, again, we're talking fed pivot in December, which we're yeah. calling a cut. I think, I think unemployment has to, I mean, if it, it if it went from three, six to seven and a half by December, yeah, that might cause the fed right. to cut. Yeah. It okay. might certainly 10, 10 yeah. would make them cut. So the other thing that could happen is GDP could fall off a cliff. And we're not talking negative 1.5 like we had in Q1. We would have to see something like negative 5, negative 6%. We would have to see entire industries do nothing. That could cause it. Yeah. Uh, World War Three on U.S. soil, that could cause it. Yep. Um, I don't know. I so, so when I looked at it, too, is, you know, so one of the things, so one of the famous things that's brought up right along with this is depression, depression, depression. Oh yeah. So here's the problem that I have with that. Looking at the actual definition of a depression, Mm -hmm. you are talking about 12 quarters, three three years years of negative GDP. Yeah. Yeah. And a cumulative, an accumulative balance exceeding 10%. 10, Yeah. 10%. No freaking way. No way. No way. Recession? Yeah, I'm on. I Listen, I think anybody that's talking about there not being a recession does, can't do math. <laughs> like, Thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like if you if you're looking at this, I mean, you so you don't think there's a recession coming? No, I think there is one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 OK. Yeah. 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 There's definitely one. I, I don't see how anybody could look at that and go. There's not a recession. Yeah. Coming. In there fact, that's is one. that that is one of the areas that I'm probably going to be telling folks I was wrong on. So I called a recession, but I called it Q3. No, Q2, Q3 of next year. I think I'm, I think I'm late. late. I think my call is late and I will admit it. I, and I'm not going to change it. Right. I'll admit, admit it once it's official, but yeah, I think I was, I was Q4 of this year, Q1. And quite frankly, you might be I'll late. Lie. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous about this quarter. Yeah, me too. Like, yeah. Dion he, might be right. But, but here's the thing though, is that, is it, and, and not to kind of change the rules as we go through this, but I'm, I've heard from other economists that they've actually said, it's not a recession, even if you have two negative quarters of GDP growth, when you still have three or 250,000 plus. Yeah. Growth. So as is an economist, true? as economist, an economist, that somebody that studied this subject, uh, the most often quoted definition of recession is the easiest one, two negative quarters of GDP. Yep. In order to have the real technical definition of recession, you also have to have job losses. Right. Okay. So, Just so, making sure. So negative negative growth, but typically speaking, negative growth equals job losses, except when you have import export mismatch, like we're having right now, and we still have a job stung. So it, I'm not going to change the definition. I don't want to oh, split yeah. the difference. If yeah. we have, if Q2 is negative and we still have strong job growth, I'm going to call it a recession and I'll just be wrong. I'll own it. No big deal. I took right. a shot and missed, but yeah, so okay. there is a, there is like a, you know, further definition, but nobody ever talks about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, you know, I think that people need to be careful with their words Mm -hmm. because a lot of times it does become a self-fulfilling prophecy, but these people that are calling for depression, it can't be just as simple as the line of a depression is when you lose your job, not just your neighbor. That can't be like the definition. Cause I literally have asked people, I was like, tell me the clinical definition Mm. of a depression. Yeah. And I will tell you if that's correct. And if you think that we're going to hit that, because right now I will bet anybody that we are not going into a depression into a depression in the next three years where we are going to have 12 quarters of negative GDP growth. No, no freaking way. Not going to happen. Yeah. This has been a lot of fun. Again, the fed pivot this year, could it happen? Sure. Our crystal ball is broken as yours. I just want you to realize if it happens, there's some serious stuff that broke. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Serious stuff. Matt, yeah. where can people find you? 
Lumberjack Landlord on YouTube and Instagram and 7 p.m. tonight, Tuesday, uh, in place of Dion Talk Financial Freedom. I don't have nearly as many funny sayings and I can't make as many as near uh, weird but faces. not today. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, are certainly not today. But yeah, we'll be there. All right, buddy. Thanks again. Thanks, Mike.